Big news from Washington tonight. President Trump has reportedly agreed to work with Democratic leaders in Congress to bring DACA back. Yeah, the program protects 800,000 undocumented people who were brought to the U.S. as children. KKL9 political reporter Dave Bryan has the latest information and reaction to all this, Dave. Still sorting it out. This could be anywhere between a momentous breakthrough and dinnertime chit-chat. So we'll find out. This is far from a done deal, but it is an important first step. Late tonight, President Trump and the top two Democratic leaders in Congress have agreed to work on a bill to restore DACA, this time as a law passed by Congress instead of an executive action, which is what President Obama did. It's an agreement that was reached over dinner tonight. At a Wednesday night dinner with President Trump, House Democratic Leader Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer say they reached agreement with the president to work on legislation that would protect the DACA dreamers from deportation. Pelosi and Schumer released a statement this evening saying, we agreed to enshrine the protection of DACA into law quickly and to work out a package of border security, excluding the wall that's acceptable to both sides. If the agreement, which was apparently reached during a dinner between the president and the two leading Democrats, is carried out, it would be the second time this month that President Trump has worked with Democrats to achieve what he said couldn't be done with Republicans alone. But the White House press secretary put out a statement Wednesday saying, while DACA and border security were both discussed, excluding the wall was certainly not agreed to. Nonetheless, CNN political analyst David Gergen says an agreement to work together could be a good thing. I think this deal, just like the earlier deal he cut, uh, is good for the country. I'm a, I, look, I, I've worked with Dreamers. I think they ought to be here. The DACA was a good idea. A lot of Republicans look at this and say, you know, this guy, this guy may cut a deal, but he gets rolled in the deal. Uh, I mean, he gave up the wall and he gave up DACA, and what did he get back in ret return? But former senior advisor to President Obama, David Axelrod, has reservations. If this is in fact true, I think it's a great, uh, great thing for the country. But I, I have to say, I listened to Steve Bannon the other night uh, talk about how this could be uh, the thing that triggers a civil war within the Republican Party, and I'm wondering whether what he and some of those in his faction of the Republican Party are thinking tonight uh, about this report. And one thing we've learned about Donald Trump is that nothing's final until it's final. President Trump's Wednesday night bipartisan dinner with the Democratic leaders in Congress is the latest chapter in his attempt to reach across the aisle, particularly on a handful of issues like tax reform, immigration, and rebuilding infrastructure. They won it in a bipartisan way. I thought it was very good for them to reach out to us. West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin was one of three Democrats who joined some Republican colleagues at a Tuesday night tax reform dinner with the president. We had a, uh, I think, an in-depth uh, conversation on our concerns. Uh, the president was adamant this is not a tax cut for the rich. Having been beaten and embarrassed on repealing and replacing Obamacare, President Trump is now trying to address the number one concern that Democrats have about his tax reform plan, that the richest Americans would reap the biggest benefits, while middle class and working class Americans would get chump change. The rich will not be gaining at all with this plan. We're, not, we're looking for the middle class, and we're looking for jobs. Even suggesting at a bipartisan White House meeting on Wednesday that raising taxes on the wealthy is possible, which may be music to the ears of Democrats, but not to Republicans. I think the wealthy will be pretty much where they are. <laughs> pretty much where they are. If we can do that, we'd like it. If they have to go higher, they'll go higher, frankly. And we're going back to the uh, DACA uh, agreement uh, story. The first uh, reaction from a Republican tonight, Iowa Representative Steve King tweeted at real Donald Trump, if AP is correct, Trump base is blown up, destroyed, irreparable, and disillusioned beyond repair. No promise is credible. At tonight's dinner, Senator Schumer and Congressmember Pelosi say the discussions with the president also focused on ensuring that the administration works on shoring up Obamacare in the coming weeks. Those discussions will continue, the, according to Pelosi and Schumer, as the Democrats and the White House draw closer together. But what about the Republicans?
Yeah, so as we know, it's a, this issue, especially for California, a big deal. What's the local reaction been to this deal? Yeah, uh, actually still coming in tonight, still getting reaction to the agreement here in Southern California. But I did speak with one of the top officials at CHURLA, the Coalition for Humane Immigrant Rights, who said they see this as nothing more than dinner talk. He added, we'll believe it when we see it, the vote on the bill, that is. They feel they've been uh, seeing the president, uh, President Trump, say nice things about the DACA dreamers before, only to allow the destruction of DACA, leaving hundreds of thousands of dreamers vulnerable to deportation to countries where they have no connections and no life. Jeff, yeah. Lena, back to you.